Hello everyone and we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the second test between Australia and South Africa, a Boxing Day test match at the MCG. Absolutely lip smacking prospect that and we have Nikhil Bai with us today to give you more insights on what he feels about the game and how he sees it panning out over the five days if it goes till there. Yes, thanks once again for having me. Always a pleasure to cover tests. Uh, second test, I think, is often a very interesting one for South Africa. In the last few series, they've lost big, but they've come back very big as well in second test. But here, I think the only issue is who steps up with the bat, because I don't think their mm-hmm. bowling is an issue. So, very keen to see if conditions are better to bat, who is the new hero that South Africa found, find, if at all they do. Right. And uh, any changes that you see happening in the 11s in this game? I think Australia's 11 is already out, so yeah. we know that. Uh, Warren is playing and not Josh. Uh, for South Africa, I, it, it might be that Thainus gets, in, gets a game for RVD. But uh, hopefully, you know, uh, Rasi gets another game. I think they'll have to persist with him. Maybe not at three. I feel it's a bit too early for him at three. Again, just the kind of form that he's in. So, yeah, I, I think that could be the only change. Right. So, that's about the changes. And with the yeah. Christmas cheer around, we have a lot of good things to share with you. First up, the FCP investment leaderboard is live on the fan to play app. And you guys always tell me it's difficult to maintain stretches over 15 days, 30 days. So, we are making life easier. This is only a one-week leaderboard. And the best part with an investment leaderboard is even if you miss a game odd here and there, you can still cover it up. So, ensure you take part in that. And we have prizes up till the fifth rank there. And you compete with very, very few people because it's mm-hmm. only the FCP family. So, make yep. sure you take part there. And uh, apart from that, you also said that now if you have to take part, you also have to put some money to invest it, which is correct and logical. And hence, to fix that problem, there's a code that's live on fan to play called Santa, which is live only for today, that is 25th December. And once you use that code, you get a hundred percent bonus on your first deposit on your deposit, whether your old user, new user does not make a difference. So make sure that you make full use of that benefit. And yes, just because it's Christmas and we have another benefit, the last benefit, which is valid again only for today, is still tonight, 11 59 p.m. All your deposits will be counted towards the Christmas investment leaderboard. And you can see here that you can absolutely access your rank from here directly from the tournament leaderboard from the investment leaderboard so go here and you can easily be able to see what your ranking is and where you stand here and take good part and make full use and hopefully one of us are going to be going to australia so make sure you take full part in that benefit and let's look at what we have in terms of the team for this game so, Nikhil Bhai, first up, starting with the base team that we have set up. And we have gone with Kyle Viren in the keeping section. And the three batters in Temba Bavuma, Manus and Steven Smith. Warner playing his 100 tests. Any, any addition I to make here? Yeah, I think that is something that I kept for uh, Grand League. But I think we can talk about it later. Uh, Talking about uh, this game, I think uh, just to discuss venue conditions very quickly, the only bit that people might be interesting is how much grass is there, whether the game will go so long. So as we discussed right up top, uh, it's probably going to be a four-day test, hopefully, uh, with a better deck to bat. It is usually better to bat in the second innings. So in the first innings, the first session has always been troublesome. Uh, You can ask England last year. uh, And that has been the case for most sides. So which is why... If the conditions are such, you feel the first batting will be tricky. You can make your captain, vice captain accordingly in that sense. And uh, there is slight possibility of showers, but it should still clear up and not disturb the game too much. So that takes care of the uh, venue conditions that are there expectedly. And uh, yes, for day one, I think uh, we'll talk about him more in the Grand League. Here, you in keeping section, you always have the option of uh, Alex Carey, but I'm sure, like me, most of us will want more Australian bowlers. So, you're likely to go in that in that regard that I'd rather have an extra bowler. But if you are not sure of the batter or all under that usually always are with batters, you can take two keepers if you want to and drop a bowler if you're not confident on him. So, that is something that you can work around. Hmm. Right. 
Right, very fair call. And in the batting, we have gone with the safe and sound guys. We have gone with Babuma, Steven Smith and Manas. Now, Nikhil, by one question that I have here is, do you have any temptation? So, like you can see in the base team, we have gone with one South African in the bowling section. Any temptations to leave Babuma and go for Nokia with uh, six bowlers and two batters? Yeah, but somebody will score. Na? So, it is going to be tricky if, if, if one of the top four settles, which... Again, their form is not too much, uh, not that great, but you will see some runs being scored. So that is something that we mm. have to take care of. That uh, and that is why you see the Babu up in death. And uh, yeah, you, if you feel Dean Algar or anybody else also might score, you can take that. The risk with going Nokia is you have to then say that okay, South Africa are bowling first, and they'll they'll take four or five just to cover up for the absence of a batter because somebody will score. Or you can take an all rounder mm. if there are two. You can take Kesha Maharaj if you want to. So that is the kind of visualization that you might have to go. Uh, and yes, if you want to risk, you can always risk. Right. So right, like he said, someone will score. Absolutely. My confusion, like always, is who will be the person who will score. And hence, I prefer going with the extra bowler always. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Travis Head and Marco Janssen as the two all-rounders. And in the bowling, we have gone with all the key picks in Rabada, Cummins, Stark, Boland, and Nathan Lyon. And like we discussed, Nokia is someone who you can either probably switch out for one of Boland Lyon or then you drop one of the batters and just go with all six bowlers. Any other temptations apart from that? Any other guys who you would want to be picking? Yeah, I think Scotland, uh, Scott Boland being the homeboy, uh, I think he'll definitely come good. He came good versus England as well. Uh, Pat Cummins, Rabada again, yeah, these are no brainer. The question really arises for you for Nathan Lyon. Uh, yeah. whether you want to take the risk with him. In the last few games, he's taken three wickets more than once, so which is why you see him for now. And somebody who can trouble good in Australia, he always finds a way to take wickets. So, yeah. unless you are very sure that if South Africa are bowling first, because you've covered two bowling options in Janssen and Rabada. But if you feel, no, I want to win NGD as well, or I feel Keshav Maharaj can give me value with the bat as opposed to Nathan Lyon only with the ball, that is a risk that hmm. if you want, that you can take. But it's going to be, you have to back your visualization in that sense. If Australia bat first, I might be tempted to take that risk, but maybe in Team 2 or Team 3. So that is a call that you can take in terms of risk uh, for one of the bowlers. Right, absolutely. So that's what rounds up our base team for this game. And now let's hear what would be the best Grand League options for this one. And before we get to the Grand Leagues, Nikhil Bhai will also tell you what are the game, what is the game type now that it slipped off my mind. Nikhil Bhai, you're on mute. You can go ahead and tell us what is the game type because it's a test match. You know what is the right direction. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's a good game for small league and mini jails uh, purely because if it's a better batting, if they are better batting conditions, you are still going to be very sure of six, seven players. But there are enough players for you to try out based on your visualization. So it's not that 10 players are common and you are only picking the 11 players. So there are options for you to try out. And in test matches, you can cover up as well. Uh, if you are if the pick comes off in the second innings also, it's not just a one inning that that is important. So, I think SLL mini gels will be the way to go here. Uh, there are enough batters for you to take uh, punts on, which is why the risk level, I feel, is also a very medium kind of, because even from those options, you're not going to take too many. Uh, so, again, it's completely your call. Of course, whatever works for you. I think smallly and common small mini gels works in most games. And the risk is medium for this game. So, yeah. Right. Absolutely. So, finally, you have that game where you can just go in with all those small leagues that you want to join. We are very selective with the games that we use in yeah. small leagues. But then that's what works best for us. So, hence, we don't yeah. try to mess with that too much. So, <laughs> Nikhil, by one Grand League pick from Australia and one from South Africa. Huh. It's very tricky, actually, to uh, go about this one. But... From Australia, I'm going with David Warner. Uh, again, it is less of a data bagged or uh, uh, any other kind of pick. It is just 
someone who I feel has been hard done by in the, in the recent times. And uh, he playing his hundred test, of course, he will be motivated. So if they are batting first, mm -hmm. I'll be very, very tempted to pick David. Of course, there is the bit about early movement and all. So in that scenario, if you feel the same thing will happen for him in the second innings, that because it is better to bat then, maybe he'll do better then. So in first innings of Australia, I think David Warner can come good. So you can try him out if you want to. And uh, for the the normal option, if you want, then it is Scott Bolin. Because I think homeboy, there is no doubt there. So I've given you a very ultra risk option and a normal normal pick as well uh, from the existing base team. From South Africa, to be Dean Elgar if he has from the front because he hasn't had the great time in Australia. Average is about 18, I think, in five games. So that is something that will definitely play in mind this record in Australia. And he's facing the new ball. That's where the tone is being set. Uh, so, if he comes off up top, the entire batting unit looks a far more different, uh, just like he did versus India as well. He finds a way to score runs, or even just stays there. So, I think these two will be hand picks. Of course, you can always go with any bowler who you feel will come good. Right, very fair calls and lots of thought process behind why <laughs> those two. My two calls are uh, maybe not as thought process oriented, but two very <laughs> underrated players. One is Usman Khwaja. Now with Usman mm -hmm. Khwaja, we have seen that when the deck is not as assisting uh, as much of assistance to pace, and this is this is known slightly to be one of the better pitches in terms of Gaba Perth, all of these places. So I feel like he will be able to set in and play a knock here in one of the two one of the two innings wherever we feel like wherever you see that there might not be as much movement. And the other pick is even more grandly in Kaya Zondo. Again, someone who's been around the South African circuit for really, really long. Not really been able to prove too much of a point. Again, this is the last test and he'll want to come out there. And uh, so, this is the second last test. But obviously, with the amount of spots that people are competing for, if he's going to actually be in again, he'll want to come out there and play a knock. And I feel like this is the kind of pitch where one of the, one of the underrated batters can come in and give you a good knock. So, these are the two picks for me. Yeah, and just to discuss, if you want more common options, I think predominantly most people will come with Smith and Marnus as their mm. small league captain, vice captain. But you could always go with a combination of Pat Cummins, Rabada. You could go with uh, uh, one batter and one bowler, which we did for a previous Australia test, which was like, you can go with Marnus and Pat Cummins. You could go with Steve Smith and Stark if you want, or you can go Boland and Travis Head as well. So, the Khwaja bit is very interesting because you could easily drop Travis Head for Khwaja as well in the base team. You should feel Khwaja will come good in that sense because the only reason for that is Head is in, in very good form. And that's why you, you're saying if he forms a Mastini. But uh, yes, in Grand Leagues, you can always try uh, multiple combinations. So, there you have it. Plenty of Grand League options, many small league options as well. Yes, so that is it from this preview. We hope that all of you enjoyed it. Have a great game and ensure that you tune in to all the offers that we mentioned at the start of this preview. Many of them are ending today. So ensure yeah. that you make most use of it. All the good luck to all of you. Have a good game, guys. See you soon.